Hey gang, this is Bert, LandonHunting.com. Staff member, I'm out here today with a good friend of mine. My name is Jeff Luck. Now Jeff traps coyotes. We've got several farmers back over here near my place in Franklinville, and uh, there won't be wily coyotes caught because they're having problems with their livestock. Now Jeff uses a trap that's actually a user-friendly trap because he does a live catch. It has a quarter inch gape in the mouth of it there so it doesn't actually break the leg. Uh, when they catch them, well, this morning early we were able to take one out of the trap. And there's going to be a video added to the site where you go in there and you can actually watch uh, Jeff take this uh, coyote out of the trap. Uh, here in just a second I'm going to show you uh, Jeff in action here putting this trap down. He's a little meticulous about how he sets his stuff in the ground. He's very careful covering up any of his scent and he is actually setting a blind trap as he calls it where they go up and underneath the fence where he doesn't have to put out any stink bait or anything like that to get him to come into it. They'll just come under the fence and catch themselves. So I'm going to go ahead and get back behind the camera and I'm going to show you Jeff doing a little bit of his work. This is the site itself that Jeff is working on over here, getting ready to put the old trap down in the ground so we can catch Mr. Coyote. Jeff, tell us what you're doing with that lead right there. It's uh, what they call a super stake. It's a little bullet on the end with a small piece of cable hooked to the swivel of the trap. Drive it in the ground. When the animal gets caught, it causes the bullet to turn sideways in the ground and keeps the trap anchored in that spot where he can't run off with it. You can see uh, Jeff added a little toilet paper over top of the trap itself right there so dirt doesn't fall down into the springs and get that thing to stick up. And he uh, just shakes the old dirt over top of it there and just covers that thing up so the coyote 
won't notice it and won't be scared on it and just come on over there and step into it and maybe by tomorrow we'll have one. I'll take some photographs later on of some more work that Jeff and I are going to go do. Actually it's going to be all Jeff, not so much me, but I'm going to photograph some of the work, some of the presentations that he does that you'll be able to see at the bottom of the article.